If you're looking for help fixing your Heston gas grill, look no further. Our comprehensive Heston gas grill troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. No gas flow. You are either out of gas or your excess flow valve tripped. First, check for gas in your cylinder. Typically a full cylinder weighs about 34 pounds and about 1718 when it's empty. You can weigh it on a household scale. Or better yet, use a gauge. If you have gas, you may have tripped the excess flow valve. So, turn off the control knob. Disconnect the regulator. Wait 30 seconds and reconnect the regulator. Turn on the tank valve slowly. Then light the grill according to lighting instructions. If flames are still low, repeat this process up to three times. If this process fails the excess flow valve may have become stuck in the regulator and the regulator will need to be replaced. A sudden drop in gas flow. You are either out of gas or your excess flow valve tripped. First, check for gas in your cylinder. Typically a full cylinder weighs about 30 pounds and about 1718 when it's empty. You can weigh it on a household scale. Or better yet, use a gauge. If you have gas, you may have tripped the excess flow valve. So, turn off the control and tank knobs and wait 30 seconds. Turn on the tank valve slowly. Then light the grill according to lighting instructions. If flames are still low, repeat this process up to three times. If this process fails the excess flow valve may have become stuck in the regulator and the regulator will need to be replaced. Low flow with natural gas. A dual fuel gas grill is required to convert a propane grill to natural gas. If you're going to, or have already, converted your grill, make sure that you have the Charbroil natural gas conversion kit specified for your grill. If your grill is a Charbroil dual fuel equipped gas grill model, the specified conversion kit model number is listed on the rating label of your grill. You can also look for a dual fuel natural gas conversion kit. You'll need to have your model number available. If conversion to natural gas has resulted in lower than expected temperatures, please call your local gas company for a service visit. Only the local gas company can determine if the proper pressure is being delivered to the grill. If your grill has more than 65.000 BTUs, a 3, 8, hose may not allow enough gas to flow. In this case a 1, 2 inches hose is recommended. The gas regulator tripped. You are either out of gas or your excess flow valve tripped. First, check for gas in your cylinder. Typically a full cylinder weighs about 30 pounds and about 1718 when it's empty. You can weigh it on a household scale. Or better yet, use a gauge. If you have gas, you may have tripped the excess flow valve. So, turn off the control and tank knobs and wait 30 seconds. Turn on the tank valve slowly. Then light the grill according to lighting instructions. If flames are still low, repeat this process up to three times. If this process fails, the excess flow valve may have become stuck in the regulator and the regulator will need to be replaced. Bad propane tank connection. You probably have a bad propane tank connection or the rubber seal has failed. Turn off the cylinder valve. Remove the regulator from the cylinder and inspect the rubber seal in the cylinder valve for damage. If it's damaged, replace the cylinder. Yellow flames instead of blue. The most common cause of yellow flames is low gas pressure from the regulator. Which is an easy fix that you can do at home. 1. Open the grill lid. 2. Turn off all knobs on the control panel in front. 3. Turn off the tank knob. Disconnect the regulator from the propane tank. 4. Wait 30 seconds. Reconnect the regulator to the propane tank. 5. Slowly open the propane tank knob all the way open. 6. Turn on the appropriate control knob and light the grill per the instructions on the control panel. If these steps helped, you can prevent the regulator from getting stuck again. You'll want to make sure that you turn off the control knobs before turning off the valve on the propane tank. But, if this doesn't help and the flames are large and still yellow, you may need to replace the regulator. 